It wasn't even close. Voters have strongly rejected an increase in the provincial sales tax to pay for future transit projects. 62% voted yes, 38% no. Metro Vancouver mayors now say it's up to the province to solve the problem. CTV's Maria Weisgarber is live at the Potato Bridge tonight. And Maria, the, a new bridge there was a big part of the mayor's plan. Along with light rail for Surrey, more buses and the Broadway subway, now that the votes are in, they'll have to find another way to pay. The latest plan to help pay for improvements to Metro Vancouver's transit system is off the rails after being shot down by voters. Who wants more taxes? <gasps> they voted no. So how does that help anybody? 62% voted against adding a half percent to the provincial sales tax to raise funds for $7.5 billion worth of upgrades, including more buses, light rail and a Broadway subway. 38% voted in favour. First and foremost, get rid of TransLink. Transit user Gianna Hibbert is thrilled with the results. Our taxes are too high to begin with. SFU student Curtis Stangl is disappointed. Of course I'm willing to pay a little bit extra if it meant that I was able to get from place A to B in a more reliable, faster and, you know, just overall better service. Although we heard a lot of support for the mayor's plan, voters clearly have problems with provincial sales tax. This is two referenda that have failed now uh, in a row uh, related to provincial sales tax. Vancouver Mayor Gregor Robertson headed up the Yes campaign, which spent more than $5 million trying to sell the tax. There's no plan B for funding uh, that, that's envisioned here. Bottom line is we want to see the province come back with solutions on the funding gap and on transit governance and accountability. We've sent a strong message. Don't tax us more for this thing. Fix transit. Jordan Bateman with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation and the No campaign feels the vote was both against tax and TransLink. Lots of us feel like we're paying too much in taxes. Lots of us feel like TransLink's wasting that money. The plebiscite question has been answered. What's not known is where the funding will come from now. Okay, Maria, 62 to 38. What was the vote total in Vancouver and Surrey? Vancouver actually had the closest vote out of all the municipalities that took part. In that city, 49% voted yes and 51% voted no. And as for Surrey, it was really no contest. 34% voted in favour of the plan and 66% voted against. Mike? All right, Maria, thank you. Many knew getting voters to accept a new tax would be a tough sell. What we don't know now is how transit improvements will be paid for. Mayors wasted no time in calling for changes to TransLink. CTV's Lisa Rossington is live at Commercial and Broadway. Lisa, what happens next? Well, with no plan B, we're back to the question. Where is the money going to come from to fund transit expansion? The boss of TransLink insisting the no result was about rejecting a tax increase. It was not a vote against TransLink. Mr. Allen, a, a resounding no to a tax increase would suggest that taxpayers don't trust TransLink and the way that you're spending money. I think if you look again at what the peer reviews say, they're pretty darn good. If you look at customer survey ratings for our service, they're very good. Not good enough, some would argue. With no plan B, now the question is, where will the money come from to pay for an expanded transit system in Metro Vancouver? No, the, the ball is back in the corner of the provincial government to, to take a lead on that file. Uh, the mayors alone won't be able to accomplish it. We have seen that. That's, That's not how BC's transportation and, minister sees it. Uh, the, the region needs to see continued expansion. Uh, that's not the question. The question is uh, fundamentally how are the mayors going to come up with their one third to match what the province and the federal government has put on the table. A vehicle tax or increased property taxes, the revenue source will be coming from taxpayers. Or as this business expert proposes, maybe developers need to be considered as a source of revenue. So as the city is growing and we are getting new development into the city, uh, the, the new developments may have to contribute the extra share to developing our new infrastructure. The mayor of Surrey says a proposed light rail project in her city will go ahead with private dollars. I have had private parties interested in financing uh, that project. TransLink's boss promises for now there will be no hike in transit fares. We have a funding base that's prescribed, as you know, um, which is fares, which we're not going to be increasing in the short term. So, Lisa, public mistrust of TransLink was definitely an issue. Are we going to see any changes? 
Well, the mayor is suggesting it is critical that the governance of TransLink be addressed. The Minister of Transportation also talking today about the lack of accountability and transparency. Todd Stone says TransLink will soon be getting a new CEO, which he suggests will push TransLink in a new and different direction. Thank you. Lisa Rossington reporting live from Commercial and Broadway.